I'm going to talk about myself. <laughs> okay. Um, I, so I am now a Circle School staff member, but I'm also an alum. So right. I spent my last five years, uh, basically eighth, eighth through 12th grades at the Circle School. And I, uh, I was getting fine academic value out of public school. Mm. I was a straight A student and never had any issues with that. But what I came to realize of, during my years at the Circle School was that I um, associated part of my value with the ability to chase the carrot of good mm. grades and the adulation that came from achieving good grades. Mm. And so when I think about the path that I was on in life, there was a shift when I went to the circle school and it was a shift towards discovering what was genuinely satisfying to me and not mm. sort of the shallower satisfaction of pleasing others, but instead mm. the deeper satisfaction of understanding and pursuing things where I found genuine satisfaction internally. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was, that was a huge value that I got out of the circle school and particularly having that take place in my teen years was a huge value to me. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible? is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.